Morning diggers. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Derby Diggers. Well, it's blooming cool. It's a bit blowy and cool. New fields today, vast amount of fields. I mean, we can see yeah. behind me and round me. Yeah. Loads of them. Are you dancing? Really? It didn't track me, did it? It did. Oh, well, it's a bit slow. Oh. Look <laughs> at these gadgets. Anyway. We'll see you at the, the first. First all of the day, it's ringing at, what's that, 67? Let's see if we can find it. It doesn't seem to be too deep, and this is quite sandy. There we go, we're on it straight away, look at that. Let's have a look. And it's vanished somewhere, let's have a and out. Oh, we've got a... We've got a coin, it's toasted, but first haul of the day is a toasted coin. That is very toasted. Oh, mm. oh is that toasted third? I might just be able to get a head off that maybe, is it? Mm. Don't know. Quite thin. Anyway, I'll put a picture up when I find out what it is. Till the next. Well, this is my first find. A broken handle. I've broken my cuff. I've had to put some black tape around it, look, to hold it together. Oh, I'm gonna have to get one of the metal ones, I think. So much better. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you at the first, still, yet to come. Well, this one came in at 62 on the 900, and look at that. Just... <laughs> we have. Queen, and I think that could well be a Queen Victoria looking at the colour of it and the patina of it. Um, oh, on it. I just can't make it out without my glasses yet. Um, oh, yeah, I can get a date on that one. Oh, is that 18? I don't know. My glasses are somewhere. <laughs> Should always have my glasses ready, shouldn't I? Bloody hell. Should have them hanging around my neck, really. Um, 1903. So it isn't a Vicky. It's an Edward. Ah. Who would have thought, eh? Nice patina on that, though. Not bad condition at all, really. Anyway, to the next. Well, down here we've got a 52. Let's see if we can find it. Somewhere, somewhere. <clears throat> nope. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've got a musket ball. Little musket ball. We'll take that. To the next. Well, this one's just ringing at 22, 23. It's there. It's in the soil. But it's looking like an old buckle. Like an old buckle. Hey. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, fancy on it. Uh, uh, I was hoping it'd be older than that. Uh, yeah, that looks early 1900s, probably. Yeah, damn. Oh, I was hoping for something earlier than that, but never mind. To the next. Well, as you can see, I'm right underneath these pylons, and I've had to start running um, the Equinox 900 in 20 kilohertz and it seems to have quietened it down a bit and down here somewhere got an 86 there 86 so we'll go down there and have a look somewhere down here it's really sandy this soil oh Look at this, it's on the surface nearly. What is that? That's a George the Third, isn't it? Silver. Oh, it's in good nick as well. <laughs> yes. Get in. Nice little silver there, look. Can't beat that. Um, I'll try and get a date off it. And I'll um, get back to you. 
<laughs> How much of an idiot do I feel now? Because it's not a George III, it's a William III and it's 1697. George III, I don't know. Anyway, 16, it's even older, that's even better. Get in, to the next. As I'm about to put this coin in my little box, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for us. We really appreciate it. Um, and these are the type of things we can find out in the field. Now to put it in my box. There we go. Specially made little box. Nothing in it at the moment, although I have got a couple of co copper coins this morning, but they're pretty toasted. So we'll slide them in there, stick the lid on, and let's go and find some more. and that'll do nicely for the charity challenge board lovely little musket ball to the next it sounds nice 88 it could be aluminium or it could be a big old penny let's go and have a look I think it's there somewhere Well, so far, no cancelor I can see. Oh, it's there, look. <laughs> Just a bit of plate or something in it. Oh, well, to the next. Well, it's ringing at about 18. Got a little of that on the top or something. Some sort of furniture fixing, I think, definitely. But yeah, don't know what it is, but it's got a love out, so I love it. Hey, to the next. Now I've just had that up, um, it's lead, and could that be the crudest pot mend ever? You can see like um, where the soil's got inside it there. Um, I don't know, looks pot mendish, doesn't it? It's a big one. Anyway, to the next. Now I've just had that up, I don't know what it could have come off. Um, it seems to have like a, a flat edge there and a flat edge on that side, so that's basically the width of it. It's got a little bit of line going on it. Um, and then it's like that. Who knows? I don't. To the next. Something a little bit interesting. It would have been even more interesting if it was all in one piece, but is that off a, a door handle or something? Looks like it, doesn't it? Is that a key hole there? I don't know. It's brass anyway. Hmm. We'll see. To the next. Well, the wife uh, watched last week's video. And you know what she said? The only thing she could come up with is, God, your brows need doing. Especially when your cap on, she said they look like two thick black slugs on your head. So she's booked me in to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> Bloody hell. Anyway. <laughs> That's good. yeah. There's no there's no words for that, is there? Oh well. <laughs> to the next. And it got windy. Anyway, this is uh, part of a buckle. One for the charity board. To the next. Well, this one was a deep one. It's about eight inches deep now, and it's still in there. Oh, it's still in the ground. Wow. We got it now? Yes, we have it now. Let's turn you around. It's there somewhere. Oh, it's a shotty. Oh, all that for a shotty. Never mind, to the next. I'm getting a bit worried about where our lad could be now because um, We've been digging since half past eight this morning and uh, it's now approaching 12 o'clock and I haven't seen him in ages and he has got a tendency to get lost.
he could have wandered into three fields away by now and not be able to find his way back. I mean, yesterday he went to Durham on the train, got off, started wandering around with his wife. A couple came up to him and asked him, you all right, you look a bit lost. Are you trying to find somewhere? And he says, yeah, um, the city centre. Eh? <laughs> so yeah, he could be anywhere. Lost again. Three, yeah. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Still on the ground. No, we're out. Oh, we have. What is that? <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's got a pin on the end of it there. Hmm. Probably off a bit of farm machinery. Anyway, till the next. One bullet. Bit inconvenient just as I'm about to uh, start talking. Never mind. Um, down here we have got this. I think it's come off a tractor or something. I just can't make out the wording. I thought it was a coin to start off with. Um, but you can see where it's been pressed. That's what the side it's been pressed on. And on this side, there's some writing there. I want to say, I was going to say Leyland, but I don't think it is that now. Um, yeah, anyway, that's what that is. I don't know, but I think it could be off a tractor, off a, or off a push bike even. You know, the front disc off a bike, maker's name. Anyway, till the next. 30, and it's inside this clump. Shall we have a look? Let's put it on the floor. <coughs> Anything? What's in that bit? What's that? What is that? Could that be off? <laughs> Looks like an arrowhead. It couldn't be a, an arrowhead, could it? Look just the way it's been cut. Hmm, I don't know. Can't see any other pattern. Oh, there is some dots on that, is there? I'm not sure now. Looks like an arrowhead, doesn't it? That's an interesting little find. Cool! <laughs> Is it? See that's nice and curved and that's a bit flatter, that's making me think it's maybe not... I don't know, it's too thin as well isn't it really? Oh well, to the next! Well, this one was coming at 74 and it's still in the ground down there. Oh, it's good to it's nice and soft. One-handed, one-handed! There we go, oh, we got it. Oh, is it going to be rust? We are out and we are going to be something in here somewhere. I can't see anything. Oh, what's this? It's a button. We've got a little button. Ah, well, to the next. 73 and it's in here. I think it's in here. It was bleeping a minute ago. It's out. Can you see it? It's in that clump. Yeah, it's in this clump at all. I can see it and it's going to be a little buckle. Nothing fancy. But yeah, a little buckle. Still intact. Cool. Oh, it's got a roller on as well, so it's not that old, but hey ho. To the next. I just had that up. It rang it at 50 one on the 900 obviously it don't really matter because it's an indian coin and it dates to 1934 and it says one quarter i think it says anna anna india 1931 there's nothing on the other side but yeah something a little bit different to the next 
While I'm on, I just want to give a shout out to my grandson Bryce. While I was down in Cornwall, he made me this little uh, bracelet. He calls it a Darabee Digger bracelet. I'd get, I said I'd give him a shout out, so there you go, Bryce. From in the field, get in. What do we say, Bryce? To the next. Yeah, when I uh, left Cornwall, he was a little bit upset, bless him. I'll uh, put a video of him handing me the bracelet over. Right, I just want to say thank you to my little grandson, Bryce. Bryce? <laughs> For making me this little bracelet, Darby Digger's bracelet. And I said I'd put him on our channel. So say hi to everybody. Cool. What do we say? To the next. To the next. To the next. Yeah, it's, it's hard when you've got to say goodbye, but 400 miles is a long way. Um, anyway, a little shout out to his sister as well, Blossom. Love you both. See you soon. That's it for today. Um, it's got really blowy now. Um, what have we had up today? Not much, uh, not much, but I believe you've had something fantastic. I've had a little bit of silver. Let's go down and uh, see what we've got. So for stay today, he's got... Musket balls, one. Cans, four. Two. Shotgun, three. Buttons, four. Iron, five. No coins, no coins, no coins. The no Roman, no nothing. There's a buckle six. Oh, there. No, that's... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six for Steve then. Let's, uh, Once I've calmed down. Let's see how I've got on. So for me today, we've got musket balls, pre-decimal, buckle, cancelor, iron, shotty, button, and a nice little bit of milled silver. You can't beat a little willy, can you, Shane? Look at that. So Steve's putting in the pot. Yes, by yourself this week. Uh... So yeah, Steve, money in the pot. Ah, uh, got some 50p's this week, Shane. That's one, two, and three. Three pound for Rose Dawson's Owl Sanctuary in Thirsk. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for us. Much appreciated. Yep. Uh, did you manage to lose any uh, camera sticks this week, Shane? No camera sticks lost this week. Oh, that's good then. Anyway, Darby Diggers, out. out. Thank you.